areas or factors that are important to me when looking for a new mouse. I want to know that it's going to fit my workflow, that it's good on gaming performance, and that it suits my minimalism aesthetic. I found a good mouse that fits those three criteria. It's not perfect, but it is good. So this is going to be my review of the Corsair Harpoon RGB wireless gaming mouse. Let's take a look. So first up are the specs and my first impressions of this mouse. Now, if you don't know anything about this mouse, just reading off the spec sheets, it has a 10,000 DPI optical sensor, six mechanical programmable buttons. It has a single zone RGB lighting. It's wireless plus wired. It has a USB receiver and a Bluetooth connectivity module. It says it'll get between 30 to 45 hours with the USB receiver and then about 40 to 60 hours of use with Bluetooth. Now, the unboxing experience was pretty straightforward. It just came with the product itself uh, and the USB receiver in its sort of socket under area. Uh, it also came with the proprietary micro USB cable. Would have been nice to see a USB-C cable but I think that should be included in the next version, in my opinion. And then all the necessary documentation. Now, my first impressions when I just had the mouse in my hands was pretty good. I think it was a quality feeling uh, mouse. I think it looks quite sleek. I think it's a nice sharp mouse. And the side textures and the side plastic that they've used or the rubber material that they've used, it's all right. That's sort of the best way that I can describe it. It's, it's, it's just okay. Then the installation process of the mouse was pretty straightforward. It's a plug and play device. So Windows will just map mouse drivers so that you can start using it. But my experience wasn't perfect. Now, this isn't really Corsair's fault, but the Bluetooth, I had a bit of a hiccup where straight away there was just so much lag um, in the mouse. I was like reading forms and I was a little bit worried that mine was faulty um, and after using my wife's laptop and the mouse being fine by Bluetooth I realized that it was just my laptop so I had to reinstall the Bluetooth drivers from Intel's website and then it was fine so I guess it's not really Corsair's fault but hey that's just what I had to go through so I thought I'd share it just in case it's a problem for you so I will say that the included software that you can use or download from the website, IQ it's called. So this is where you can sort of edit the RGB lighting and you can add macros, you can add a few different functionalities to the mouse. Um, I found it's pretty bad. I really don't like the software. And this is purely from just a layout from the, the user interface. I just didn't find it very intuitive, especially when the mouse doesn't actually come up in the software via Bluetooth. You have to plug it in by USB for it to show up. And I think that's a bit confusing because it is plugged in, it is working, but it won't show on Bluetooth. So I had to change the lighting in the software while it was plugged in and just hoped it worked on Bluetooth which sometimes it did and then eventually I've got it to work, but I just don't find it that intuitive and I'd like to see them really improve the software in the future. So now going to sort of how this mouse fits into my workflow. This mouse is great for a claw grip, okay? I have smaller hands and this mouse is a smaller form factor and I find it really easy to use. It's actually quite a nice refresh from going from a bigger mouse like the MX Master, which was my previous mouse. The buttons have great feedback given that they are mechanical. I feel like they're very tactile and they feel quite premium when pressing down. However, I have heard some complaints about the side grip of the mouse and I can see how people might dislike it. It's not the comfiest feeling material or pattern on the side. It doesn't really bother me. I, I think it's kind of nice. I could see how it could be improved um, on the sides, but it's okay, the grip's pretty good. Um, and I also like how sleek the design of this mouse is. I'll talk about that in a bit. I want this product to fit into sort of like the work area. If I take this mouse to a meeting or to my workplace, I don't want it to look like a flashy gaming mouse or device. I want it to look professional and this really suits. So overall, the feeling of the mouse is quite nice and I can use it for hours on end and it's not really a problem. So I really think it works quite well for my workflow. Next up is the gaming 
performance of this mouse. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch recently, which is a fast-paced reactive shooter. The Harpoon Wireless is incredible for quick reaction. Now, I will say that this is purely through the USB receiver, which is boasting their um, one millisecond delay or response time, which is almost as fast as a cable. It's really good. Straight away, just flicking it from Bluetooth to the USB receiver, it's noticeable. There's like a little stutter when it comes to Bluetooth. USB receiver, there's nothing. Something else that I want to point out is the weight of the mouse. It's, for me, extremely light. Weighing in at 99 grams when compared to my older mouse, the MX Master of 150, it is incredibly light and just way easier just to use. You won't find a lot of programmable buttons on this mouse. For me, that's really no issue. Uh, in fact, even those two buttons I struggled to actually use, and that's purely just how I grip my mouse. The last area is the minimalism or the design of this mouse. And I've got to hand it to Corsair. This is a gorgeous little minimal mouse. I really like the fang design of the mouse uh, where the left and right buttons leaves just like a little bit of space for the mouse button in the middle just to look like it's sort of hovering. I don't know, I think it's, it's just enough gaming aesthetic where it's not boastful, it's just minimal. Now the branding is really minimal with only a Corsair logo that lights up on the back, which I really like. I dislike the Corsair name being on the top of the left mouse button. If that wasn't there, I would prefer it more. But given that it's just so small, it's really not a make or break thing for me. And I also love the Bluetooth connectivity. It really fits well into a minimal space where you don't need to connect anything to your laptop. Just flick on the Bluetooth and it's good to go. It's one of the last comparisons I really want to mention about the MX Master when moving to this mouse was the MX Master had a really nice sort of thumb rest where the left side of the mouse sort of arched out and your thumb could rest on it. And not only was it just a place to put your thumb, but it was also a button. You could click the MX Master pad there and it would be by default just switched to your Windows tab. So you could just easily with one hand just switch between apps. If the Harpoon added a side scroll wheel and that thumb rest area, this would be not a good mouse, but a perfect mouse. So in conclusion, this is a really good mouse for me. I think if you're an avid PC user and gamer, this is gonna suit you quite well. If you like smaller, minimal, more lightweight gaming mouse, this is great. So that is my review of the Corsair Harpoon Wireless. Now, I'd like to get your thoughts on this mouse. Are you interested in buying it? Are you just liking to watch the reviews of it? Let me know in the comments. We can chat there and I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you very much. See you guys.